2,000 years later. Dalton went out, or on his way out. Greetings viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to Edivision, the channel where we look at sports differently. Dalton went out, or on his way out. The high profile role is to ensure that Jamaica's football is a strong organization driven by a focus and shared vision. The General Secretary should embody the value of the organization and serves as an advocate and spokesperson with the corporate sector all levels of government and the football community. With that said, several former general secretaries' names have been banded about, including Horace Reed, Birchell Gibson, and Raymond Grant, as to who could return to the fold. The astute Reed, who is CONCACAF's director of Caribbean football, has, on a number of occasions, distanced himself from making the return to the JFF. So it's unlikely that Reed would give up a clearly better paid position at subcontinental level to return to fill the void. Gibson did a decent job under JFF at that time that most of the present members had opposed badly, hence it would be difficult for him to make the return. The smooth talking Grant was a picture of confidence during his tenure as general secretary and rarely faced criticism as he went about his business in a professional manner. He could be a good stopgap choice until the JFF sought themselves out. Then there are several administrators that have worked within the JFF and some have moved on to work with CONCACAF and even with the European governing body UEFA, who could be viable candidates. Pat Garrell has been a long-serving administrator of football and their name was mentioned as is the current General Secretary of the powerful Kingston and St. Andrew Football Association, Kasafa Dwayne Dillon. Dillon is young, spirited and intelligent, but he would certainly be overlooked because he is one of those that had set the fire under the ruling JFF for their shortcomings over the years. He could be one to grow. Latoya Da Costa, who worked with the JFF but is currently with CONCACAF, has all the skill sets of running an efficient organization as she has learned from arguably the best general secretary this country has ever seen in Horace Reed. There are also two local coaches with a wealth of experience throughout football in Rudolph Speed of Cavalier and Andrew Price of Humble Lion. Speed is said to be very versatile and could fit into any position at the JFF, especially with his accounting background and he is a former president of Kingston and St. Andrew Football Association. Price, on the other hand, was a former sponsorship manager at J. Ray and Neville when the company sponsored the Premier League and he has the corporate clout needed. Locally, more names keep popping up. Among them, Dale Spencer, the former JFF Vice President, and Christopher Williams, the Chairman of the Premier League Clubs Association. Both men are worthy but it is said that they are more worthy in a higher position of that of general secretary and more suited for the presidency. So there you have it fans. A lot of candidates, a lot of names are out there. Did you hear your pick? Let me know in the comment section below who you think should be the next general secretary. Dalton Wind has to go, but we need a suitable replacement. Someone that can carry the JFF forward and carry Jamaican football forward. So let me know in the comment section below. And always remember, like, share and subscribe.